Okay, welcome to IQ online classes. So today we are going to do 10 points. This is calculus differentiation applications. So the first question is locate the turning point at the curve y equals to 3x squared minus 6x and determine its nature by examining the sign of the gradient on either side. So here the first thing we need to understand is at dy dx the turning point equals to 0. At dy dx the turning point is equals to 0. So the first thing we do here is to differentiate this equation. Then again after differentiating it then we create it to 0. Then we find the value for what? For x. So, so what is the dy dx with this equation? So this is 6x minus 6. And we said at 10 point dy dx is equal to what? 0. So meaning where there's dy dx we put what? 0. So it will be 0 equals to what? 6x minus what? 6. So let's put it here to be 0 is equal to what? 6x minus what? 6. Here, we need to make x the subject of formula, we find the value of x. So meaning this negative x will go the other side, it will be 6x is equal to what? 6. The value of side is 6, 6. So it will be x is equal to what? 1. 1. So meaning we have found the value for what? For x. So the next thing here, we need to find the value for what? For y. So how do we find the value for y? How do we find the value for y? So we find the value of y by equating where does x we put the value for what? For x. So whenever there's x here, we put 1. So, so it will be y is equals to 3, we replace with 1, we square, minus 6, we replace 1 here. So what is 1? 3 minus 6. So meaning y here will be what? Negative y, 3. So, so the coordinates of the turning points, so the coordinates of the turning points here, so say coordinates, for the turning point, for the turning point, for the turning point, huh? one comma negative what? Negative three. So I found the coordinates of the turning point, and the question here continues by saying determine this nature by examining the sign of the gradient on either what side. So we need to examine the sign of the gradient on, on, on the either side, right? So we need to determine. So how do we determine the nature? Of this gradient. So how do we determine the nature here? So how do you determine the nature? So, so you get this equation here. So you know that the dy dx is supposed to what? 6x minus what? 6. And we know that the value of x is supposed to what? 1. So this is how we examine this nature. So we try values. So let's see what happens to this equation. Let's see what happens to the dy dx when x is slightly less than 1. So let's see what happens to, to this dy dx when x is slightly less than what? 1. So let's say x is equal to what? 0 0.9. It should be slightly, just slightly less than 1. So let's see what will happen to this equation. So meaning where does x you put what? 0 0.9. So here it will be dy dx is equals to 6 multiplied by 0 0.9 minus what? 6. So it will be dy dx is equals to what? What is the answer there? Negative 0 0.6. Negative 0 0.6. So negative 0 0.6. So this is what will happen when x is right less than what? 1. So the dy dx will be what? Negative. So let's see what will happen when x is slightly greater than what? 1. So let's see what will happen when x is slightly greater than 1. So let's see what will happen when x is slightly greater than 1. Let's say x is equal to what? 1.41. 1. So let's see what will happen when x is slightly greater than 1. Let's say x equals to what? 1.41. 1. So let's, get, let's see what will happen to the dy dx. So dy dx here will be equal to what? 6. 1.1 .1 minus 6. So what is the answer here? What is the answer? 6 multiplied by 1.1 .1 minus 6. 0.6. So 0 0.6. 6. 6. 0 0.6. So when, when x is slightly less than 1, 
the dy dx is positive is negative and when x is slightly greater than 1 the dy dx is positive so we are moving from the negative value to the positive value so meaning this is the minimum point so we are moving from the negative to the positive meaning this is the what minimum point right? so when you are moving from the negative to the positive meaning this is the minimum point right? so so this is a minimum point So this is the minimum point because we are moving from the from the negative to the positive value. So this will be a minimum point. So to prove that your answer is correct, we can use again another another method to see if it will give us the what the minimum point. So let's use another another method to see if it will give us the what the minimum point here. Let's see if it will give us the minimum point. So let's see if it will give us the minimum point. So this other method, you need to find the second derivative. So what was the first derivative? The dy dx here was equal to what? 6x minus what? 6. So what is the second derivative of this one? Is when you differentiate this one what? Again. So let's differentiate this one to be. But the x squared is equal to what? When you differentiate this one, what will be the answer? 6. It will be 6. And this answer is what? Positive. So when the second derivative is positive, meaning this is the what the minimum point. So you can use any of this method by testing the values, and also when you find the second derivative, you find the second derivative. Then in the case where of an x in front, you press with the value of x. Then you see what will happen. If the value will be positive, meaning it will be a minimum point. If the value will be negative, meaning it will be what the maximum point. So I've seen that this is the minimum point. So you can use any method, this one or this one, to find the answer. Thank you, sir. So, this is the turning point. So, locate the turning point on the following and determine whether it's a minimum or maximum point. So, y equals to 4 theta plus e to the power divided by theta. So, so, the first thing we need to do is to differentiate this one. We need to find the first derivative of what? This one. So, so the dy dx of this one is equal to it is the dy dx of this one. So, when you differentiate 4 theta, what's the answer? That is 4. We need to partiate e to the power negative theta is what? You drop the power which is negative 1, so it will be negative e to the power t, negative what? Theta. So this is the dy what? Dx. So from here we say, at turning point, dy dx equals what? 0. So where there is dy dx to put 0, so it will be 0 is equals to what? 4 minus e to the power negative theta. So, so here, this negative e to the power of theta can go the other side, so so that we have four is equal to. Okay, let me say e. So here it will be positive, equals to four here. So e to the power negative theta equals to what? Equals to four. So again, we can drop the power, so we can drop this one, so it will be negative theta. Ring e is equals to what? Then what? Then 4 here. So here, so we know that ring E is equal to what? This is just 1. So it will be negative theta is equal to what? Is equal to this one will be 1. This whole thing here will be 1. It's equal to what? Then what? Then 4. So we can divide both sides to negative. What? Negative. So theta is equal to what? When you divide ring 4 divided by negative 1, what's the answer? Then 4 divided by negative 1. Negative 1.39. Negative 1.39 is, is the answer correct? Negative 1.39 is mm. negative 1.39. Mm. So this is the value for what? For theta. So we need to determine whether there is a minimum or maximum. So in this case, we use the method where we need to find the second derivative of this one. So if the answer will be positive, meaning it will be minimum. If the answer will be negative, meaning it will be what? A maximum. So if the value will be positive, then it will be a minimum, and if the answer will be negative, then it will be what? A maximum. So let's examine the nature. So let's try to examine the nature. So let's try to examine the nature again. So let's try to examine the nature here. So, so we need to find the second derivative of this one. So what is the second derivative of this one? Why do you differentiate this one? 
So it will be over 1t over dx squared is equal to 1t. So when you differentiate 4, what is the answer? This is just 0. What about this one? When you differentiate negative e to the power negative theta, what's the answer? So you drop the power to be negative 1 times negative to be positive. So it will be e to the power t, negative 1t, and theta. So dy, second derivative equals to 1t, x squared equals to e. So where does theta will put that value there? So it will be negative. Where is the theta will put that value there? So what is the answer when you put the value there? So it will be negative what? 1.399. 1 so say b equal to what? e to the power t positive 1, positive 1.39. 1 so what's the answer there? What's the answer there? What's the answer? Okay. So from here you can see. You can see that automatically the answer will be positive here. Yeah? So you can see that the answer will be positive here. Yeah? So meaning if the answer is positive here, so you know that this is a what? It's a what? A minimum point. So the answer here will be positive. The divide, the second derivative here will be positive. So meaning this is a what? The minimum point. So therefore, this is the what? This is the minimum what? Minimum point. So because dy dx is positive, so meaning this is what the minimum point here. So thank you, see you in the next video.